Boxing Voice. Here we are with Joe Goosen here at the Ten Goose Boxing Gym. Yeah, to look over and make sure you're at the right channel. Oh, no, no, no. I just all have to make sure I have the correct name. I t tend to say Ten Goosen once in a while. That's all right. Yeah. But uh, here we are. I just spoke with John Molina, and it seems like you guys are uh, back together and everything. Talk to us about that, how this uh, marriage just continues between you two. Well, there's a lot of divorces involved in this marriage. No, I'm Look, I love John. John and I have a very special relationship. You know, we get along real well. If I was his age and we were both in high school, we'd probably be best buddies. We're kind of on the same wavelength. Now, that being said, have there been your friends getting little spats and not talk to each other for a while? Yes. And I'm, I'm going to leave it kind of like that, uh, you know, but if you're really true friends, you can always be friends and get back together, and that's what we've done. Well, we're more than friends, you know, we're also business associates, uh, you know, I've trained them for a number of years, and we've had some great successes, and we've had a, you know, a few disappointments, but overall it's been, you know, a very positive, I think, uh, you know, uh, relationship. Uh, and, you know, we, uh, people kind of, when they think of John Molina, they kind of think of me and vice versa, you know, so they kind of associate us with each other. But, you know, that being said, look, I, I've got, you know, I've got nothing but the best intentions right now for John and myself, you know. Uh, we both put in a lot of work in this, and, you know, he's got a, a fight in January, from what I understand, hopefully, and then uh, something big after that. And, you know, I'm all for it. He's, he's, he's got an early start. We've been training for a couple of weeks already. We're talking about late January, so we'll have a good couple of months, you know, underneath our belt. And, you know, that's, uh, and we're having fun while we're doing it. You know, nothing's changed. It's not like sometimes you get back together, you, get, you got things in the back of your mind. I, I understand the situation well, and there's no animosity. There's, you know, I, I don't even, you know, like I say, I just move forward with it. We're having a great time. He's working hard. I think he's going to have a real good run in 2015 if he sticks to the program. And, uh, you know, which he will. He's a dedicated guy. He trains hard. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. But, you know, I love training John. Even in those disappointments, as you said, they've been very fan-friendly. This is yeah. the reason why John Molina has the name that he has. Yes. Uh, you obviously said you want a big 2015 for him. Right now that he's training and everything, what is it? why is it so important for a fighter to have so much time to actually train, even without a fight being planned up ahead? Well, you know, because number one, you're a professional, and, you know, all pros go to work, you know. And there isn't a dad out there that has a job that doesn't get up every morning and go to work. You know, the same applies to a fighter. You know, you, it's like the Boy Scouts uh, always say, you know, always be prepared. And, and you do. You have to be prepared at all times. At least you're keeping the motor running, and you may not be stepping on the gas all the way, but you're keeping the motor running, and you're doing all the fundamental things you need to do, stay on top of it. it keeps us running going. And then when you do get, you know, when you, when you do get the, the, the uh, you know, the go-ahead, you're, you're ready to step on the gas, but if you're not training leading up to that, so it's okay, you know, you're fighting January, you feel you're being rushed, and uh, you may have to cut some corners, and you never want to do that. So by staying in the gym uh, and always being prepared, because look, if you're not doing it, somebody else is going to be doing it. If you're not working every day, somebody else will be. If you're working six days a week, somebody's going to be working seven the way it is and you've got to, always got to anticipate somebody else is trying to outwork you in the gym and believe me that translates you know uh, immensely in a fight so what you put in here is what you're going to get out of in a fight let's talk about the boxing voice